Uh, some ground rules for today, and I got to talk a little bit about parking to start off. I know uh, we were a little bit late in getting some signs out, but uh, we want the shooters parking over at the community center. Reason being is they're trying to block off Main Street for vendors to set up here. Okay, and so if you got any vehicles on the Main Street out there, I wish you would take care of them. I got a shuttle running. Get you back and forth, your equipment, your, your youngins, they can trot along behind, we'll do whatever you want. <laughs> Let's use that parking over there so that we can so we can uh, sell some more vendor space out there on the main street. Uh, the schedule's posted and every one of you got a bag. I think there's a copy of the schedule in the bag. We want to try to stay as close to that as possible this weekend. So uh, uh, be here on time. Let's don't be looking for nobody and oh, where, where's him and where's him and her and all that kind of good stuff. So let's don't let's don't do that. Help us out. This is the biggest match in history. We want to make sure it runs as smooth as possible. Some of you shot in the practice match last uh, yesterday, and you shot here last year in a couple of our t sanctioned matches. So you kind of know how it works. We'll be posting on the board back there. It says, "Welcome to the Gunfighter Rendezvous." Uh, you'll, you'll be, we'll be running both ranges at the same time. It's complete luck of the draw is which range you get. First six shoot over here, and the next four go there as they're doing the draw. Find out where you're at and be in place when it's your time. So you got to keep your head in the game. Uh, we won't be calling and waiting three and four minutes for shooters to come to the line. If you're not where you need to be, you'll, you'll, pretty soon somebody will tell you, well, you just got an X because you wasn't there. We, 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 we move past that. When we, we're shooting 20 shooters in the backyard, that's one thing. But when you're running this kind of numbers, you have to be as just as, you're just as important that you're in the game and you know what your job is. It's to be ready when you're, when you're called. So we'll be calling the shooters to the line. We will have the hand judges. You're the next shooters. Bring your gear. Don't be going, look, well, I forgot my gun. Uh, every time you do that, you, you're costing this, this range time. We're waiting on you. Okay? Then we're also going to be announcing the shooters, uh, the hand judges in the hole. So, you're, cause you're, guess what? You're in the hole. You're the next hand judge. So you might have your gear ready then, too. Because as soon as they raise them targets, we're expecting to be able to say, load make ready. All right? It's got to rock and roll. And if you, if you, that's not a Western turn. Let me change that. It's got to stone and, no, it's not. Never <laughs> you know how it goes. It's got to move to get everybody through there. This is a two and a half day format. Uh, and you're going to see more matches, I think, going to that format because our numbers are growing. You know, just imagine if we got 175 shooters. Which will, that's what we'd like to see, 175 to 200 shooters at the World Championship this year. Man, wouldn't that be great? Woo! God darn. Okay, well, let me see. Raise your hand. How many of you registered for the world yet? Well, we got some work to do. So, uh, <laughs> we're setting it up where you can do that online as well, right, Cal? That's right. You can do that. You can register right online there. It's up. You got it up? You can go on there with a credit card. You can fill out your registration, all that kind of good stuff. You're registered for the World Championship. It's in Fallon on my birthday. Uh, yeah. First weekend of October, I believe. Okay? So, I mean, this thing is, this thing's huge. Uh, and getting bigger all the time. So, so you guys start getting in the mindset when you come to these matches. There's more importance placed on you and being in place when you're supposed to be there than it is running this range. Because the range is pretty easy to run if everybody's there. Okay, you with me? So be there, be in the right place. Let's talk about guns just a minute. Where the guns, where can the guns be out of the holster? In the cleaning area or on the line. Now, your gear stored back there. We know people don't like to wear their rigs around, sometimes too heavy like mine. I'm always pulling mine up. My little tiny butt won't hold it up, I guess. <laughs> if you want to take that gun out and put it in the bag, that's good. We want that. We don't want you walking around with them guns. 
I don't see guns walking back and forth held by the barrel, back and forth across here. You swap guns, a gun problem, and swap that, that gun right on the line. You with me? Safely. Muzzles will always be pointed downrange. Remember the 170 rule? We're going to call it. We cannot afford, with this kind of people roaming around, and the public showing up, one of them barrels be in the wrong place when you have an AD if you do. Bless us. Hope we don't. But it has happened. Especially loading and unloading. That's the most prone time to have that AD. You shoot yourself in your own foot, I mean, that's on you. But if you mess around and put, a, put one of those wax bullets, comes in contact with somebody else besides you, Ooh. Get a rope. Get a rope. We got a new one. If you, was at, if you was at the horse theater last night, we got a brand new one. Never been hung with a new rope. Anyhow, so muzzle control is definitely uh, uh, a factor. Loading on command only. Some of you, this is your first big CFDA match. We don't go up to the line and start dry firing there. You can't touch that gun. You can't don't move it. So you've been given the command by the range master to load and make ready. Every one of you, if you remember, you got a rule book. That's in there. These CFDA rules will be followed to the T. Okay? We have to keep everybody safe. Where else in America can you have a main street just right on the other side of that backstop? Huh? Nowhere. For that mayor to... <laughs> Continue to let us do this, there better not ever be a bullet make it in that main street. So, what's the penalty for shooting over the backstop? It's in the book. What is it? You got the, you had the book right over a bounty hunter, look that up. Who had it? It was laying right there with you. Or maybe it was over at the, uh, yeah, there it is. <clears throat> Oh, Brian, he can't read? I'm sorry. <laughs> He's going to look at it, because I want it read word, word for word. Folks, I do not want a bullet going over that backstop. Okay, That backstop is 12 feet tall. The rules say at least 10, don't they? That one's 12. <clears throat> Matter of fact, if you see some up there around them clips, I see one right there that almost went over a 10-footer. Still in the, in the deal over there. Guys, that's, that's, uh, you're going to have to speed up your trigger finger a little bit. <laughs> okay? It's that, it's that important. Do not let a bullet get over the top of that uh, uh, backstop. It is a 4X match. Okay? 4Xs. If you get shot out today, you have to sign up for the uh, resurrection, if, oh, not resurrection, second chance shootout if you're planning on it. It's, uh, we've got a couple of uh, plaques and things for that. Uh, it's a 10 buck buy-in, and, and we decided, uh, well, what the heck. Uh, we'll do like we did yesterday. We'll pay out a third of the sign up for that to the top man and top lady, okay? for the second chance shootout. All right. Uh, that will be uh, be determined, whatever, based on how many numbers. But you only have to 5 o'clock today to sign up. So if you get your fourth X today and you don't sign up, there won't be no, uh, no second chance shootout for you because it's going on tomorrow over there. Oh, you can't sign up now. No pre-registration. 